man it has been way too long since i've been out here we've got a good low tide today negative one at eight o'clock it's seven o'clock right now i brought along some squid to try to catch some eels at low tide but there's a couple rocks that i want to fish off of that are only accessible right now i'm gonna walk on down here and follow this little path past these rocks that i can access now all the way to these two rocks baby you fish out in the deep blue Pacific Ocean. Look at that. It smells like salt in the air. It's funny how you reminisce on things when you smell something familiar like this. Now let's say you come out here rock fishing and you get snagged a lot using the swim baits and the jig heads. Well, let me show you exactly how I rig it to eliminate, at least reduce, the amount of snags. So pretty basic right now. I got 65 pound test braid. Go into a swivel, go into 30 pound fluorocarbon. And I think these fish are not very line shy, so you could beef it up to 40 pound. But this is how I do it. And I can't take full credit for this. TJ showed me this a couple years ago. So shout out to TJ, man, spreading the knowledge. So first, I take a bobber stopper. A little bobber stopper, like a freshwater bobber stopper, used for crappie, used for a lot of things. And I put it straight onto my 30 pound floral. Then I take a weight. In this case, I'm using a one ounce weight. You can use three quarter ounce bullet weight. You can use some egg sinkers. You can combine both of them. That way, if it's really rough, you can add half an ounce if you want. You can take away half an ounce if you want. I'm fishing an ounce right now. That's an ounce. That's going on the line. 30 pound fluoro. It gets stopped by the bobber stopper. See that? I can move the bobber stopper up and now it's not going down past that point. Next thing, I take a swim bait hook. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but it's a little hook like this and it's got a little spring, little coil there on the end. So you make the coil on top and this hook, if you're going for rockfish, anywhere from three aught to nine aught, depending on what kind of swim bait you're using. And you just tie it regular, regular old clinch knot. So I'm gonna do five wraps. Two, three, four. Actually, I'll just do four. All right, back through the loop on the bottom. And this is the secret for the clinch knot. Give it a little wet. This is not the improved one. You start the knot, you tie it down, you get it cinched down as much as you can first. And then you pull it. That way, you don't get any line burns or anything like that. That's a good looking knot right there. Of course, cut off the tag end. And how you fish these, you don't really fish them with those big hammer type profile swim baits. It's more of these Kitex. More of these, this is actually made by local fishermen, the master baiter. Link in the description if you wanna check these out, but this is about a four and a half, five inch round shaped. And that you screw on to the screw there. But I'm gonna use a big old one because I wanna catch a big fish today. So actually, man, I don't like this one. The only reason I don't like this one, look, see, there's not enough room between the bottom of the hook, right here, see that? There's barely enough room. So if a fish bites it, it can't squeeze that down enough. But if I use this brown one, I can do the same thing, twist it on the front, get it lined up. Now the secret to this, see how the hook tip is coming out a little bit? I'm gonna pull it forward and bury that hook tip just a little bit in the body. Now it's not out at all. There's enough room on the bottom here. If a fish bites it, boom, that hook tip comes out, hooks the fish, and then you got a fish. But just bury that hook just a little bit, just like that. Now you call this weedless, you can call this rockless. Goes over the rocks, put the weight down on it, boom. And there's your swim bait. And there's your swim bait for the rocks. I can run my whole hand on this. This is a sharp, sharp hook. I don't get snagged. It doesn't get snagged on rocks. In case the fish rips off my bait, I'm gonna bring a couple more down to the fishing spot with me. Now, cast out, make sure your drag is set strong and tight. Let it sink. Like my old videos used to say, let it sink till you feel bottom. If it's calm like this, you're gonna feel bottom fast. And since that hook tip is buried in that bait, if you get a bite, you gotta set the hook hard. I mean hard. 
load up on that thing and crank it back, try to break its jaw. Otherwise, the hook won't bury into his hard, hard mouth. I'm gonna try to break this down into the smallest detail possible. When I think there's gonna be a fish, I hold that rod tight. I can't set it hard if I hold it weak, you know what I'm saying? Hold it tight. I get the rod against my forearm, leverage to set the hook hard. When I need to set it, I can reel down to it and set super hard. No fish yet, but come on, it's coming. This fish, oh, got a bite. Just trying a different spot. Casting to the left this time. Damn, had a nice little bite. This is the spot, y'all. I switched it up, a little bit of a darker swim bait now. Casting right here in between these rocks I see underwater. It's going down right now. I'm getting ready to set the hook. Getting into hook set position. First cast. The world is very different now. The world, the world, the world is very different now. Different now. The world, the world, the world is very different now. Different now. The world, the world, the world is very different now. And you're still recording after that? Man, this camera is good. GH5, baby. Gotta go to a safer spot than that. Damn. Rogue wave right there. Splash the crap out of you. Couple more casts here and that's it. Can't do it. Damn. Well, if the fish aren't biting here, I'm not gonna spend all day. There's only so much area I can fish. So, I'm gonna find a new spot, and that's that. Gotta try here one more time before I go. Just gotta, just gotta. Come on, baby. Fish, I need you now. I think this is my last cast. Bite. Bite, for sure. Good one, too. There he is. Bit right there on the tail. All right, all right, get a bite. Can't stop casting there now. A lot of times these rockfish, they don't care if they bite something and get hooked. They'll bite again. Come on, baby. Bite it. Just take it, put it in your mouth. What do we want, a fish or a monkey face eel? We want a fish. Is there a fish on here? I got a fish, I was just letting it sit on the bottom. When I'm not trying, that's what I get. A tiny little guy. I mean, it's a cool looking fish. There's enough, oh gosh, am I that desperate? Am I that desperate? He's about seven and a half, eight inches or so. Seven and a half, eight inches. Ah, damn it. I was just letting it sit on the bottom, that's crazy. All right, I'm about to be done. It's, it's late. It's late now, it's 9.30. Fish on. Weird, man, doing the same thing, just letting it sit on the bottom. Not swimming it at all. Another one, exactly the same, man. That's how they like it. They just like it on the floor like that. If I had kept the other one, that could have been a little meal. I'm catching some fish, at least. All right, let him go. You know, this fish, he may never get caught again. He may never be out of the water again. He only knows what it's like to swim. He doesn't know what it's like to fly. 
swims right back down, gave him his first experience, he'll never forget that. Oh, what was that? Man, that was a fish. Probably a lingcod too. I want to leave, but these damn bites just keep me staying here. There he is! Yeah, baby! Finally, I've been waiting for you! I've been waiting for you! I have been waiting for you! What is it now? Oh, yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Nice! That's a nice one! Oh, yeah! I'll keep that! Oh, yeah! Got him, baby! Let's go! See, look, I set that hook hard, and it didn't even go through his mouth. Looks like we're eating today. Ha ha, we're eating. Not starving today. That's enough for a meal. That's enough for a couple tacos. That's gonna fill me up. That's a good little uh, black and yellow. That's a black and yellow. Is that a china or black and yellow? Is that china, black and yellow? I'll get those confused. All I know is it's legal. I've been doing this for way too long not to know what this is. I'm gonna bleed him and I think I'm gonna fillet this fish. You gotta watch out for these spines because they are poisonous and they will hurt you a lot. So the goal is to stab its brain, but if you can stab its spinal cord, that'll have the same effect as stabbing its brain. So right there, pointing the knife away from me. He's gonna shiver and shake. So let's get that knife in there. Oh yeah, there he is, there he goes, shivering and shaking. And he's done for. Now we cut the gills, bleed them, have some fresh meat later. Probably doesn't even matter, honestly, for a small fish like this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Blood will come out, and I'll go find a little, little, a little pool for him to sit in, bleed out nicely. But that's my my lunch, baby. That's a good-looking little fish. Here, this water is moving a lot, so you know a lot of fresh water is coming in and out. Not fresh water, but you know what I mean. Not stale and stagnant. All right. There we go, cover the rice. Let's see if there's any bugs in there. No bugs, looks pretty good. I'll give it a wash, one wash. Yeah, that should be enough, that'll be good. All right, let that heat up, and actually I'll add a little, I'll add this later. Blackened seasoning, tempted to add it now. I'm hungry. Get that to a boil. I'm gonna cook this fish in fillets, but I'm gonna skin it first. All right, it's starting to bubble now already, so I'm gonna turn down the heat so it's a gentle simmer. Don't need to add any salt to the rice because it's got salt water. That was fast, now I'll just cover it up with my other pot, and that's my lid right there. Now that the fish, while the rice cooks, I'm gonna get the fish prepared, scaling it and then gutting it. Really important to be careful when you scale a fish like this that you don't get poked by these things because you're going straight into them, you know? So just be careful, stay away if you can. It's always so satisfying to scale a fish for some reason. See how the skin looks when you brush it the one way? And you brush it up the other way? Like disappears, the color disappears. All right, I got most of the scales off, 90%. No harm in eating the scale or two. Now that my knife is all dulled up, let's see if I can still fillet this thing. That meat looks good. Right there to the belly, all right. You know, you just got to run your blade along the, along the spine. The meat looks really good. Just take your time with it. Especially on a small fish like this, you don't want to waste any meat. I mean, that's a pretty clean fillet. It's pretty much all bone there. But man, I thought there was going to be more meat than that. That's a small fish. Those first two tiny ones really threw me off with this one. Damn it. That fish is so small. I thought I was going to have way more meat than that. At least I got two fillets and some rice, that'll be good. All right, I'm gonna score the skin so it doesn't fold up in the pan. Some lucky crab out there. Give her a rinse and season her up. Oh yeah, a little blackened seasoning. This stuff is good. Oh yeah, that smells delicious, man. Nothing like coming out here eating your own food. That's for sure. All right, how are we looking here? A little bit of rice. Oh man, hey, that looks good. I like that. Hey, that turned out pretty well. That's good. I like it. I like it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That's perfect. You ever cooked rice in salt water? While it's hot? You know I gotta add a little butter. You guys add butter to your rice? It's not only me, right? 
Nice little chunk, let it melt. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a meal right here. All right, you know we gotta add a little bit of butter to the pan. Is that enough? No, it's never enough. Mmm, that rice tastes delicious. Salt water, rice. I think we can do two at a time. On there, I'm just gonna hold it down so the skin doesn't curl. Okay, stay down. I don't have a spatula, so I can't like force it down, you know? Oh yeah. Man, what a day, what a beautiful day. It's gorgeous out here. This is lunch with a view. You now, I might not catch the big old fish every single time, but if you can catch one enough for a meal, hey, this is a day to remember. When I filleted that fish, it was looking kind of mushy, but once I got it on the, on the heat, it firmed up nice. All right, what do you think? Ready to add it to the rice? I think so. Look at that right there. Doesn't that look good? Hell yeah. But you know, I'll be honest. It's a great day. It's so nice. It's very nice to come out here and catch fish. But honestly, what I have on my mind is salmon. Salmon's on my mind. We're gonna get some salmon tomorrow. That salmon that Daniel and I caught, I brought it home and smoked it. I got a new smoked salmon recipe and it is delicious. I did the bellies, oh my goodness. Oh, my mouth is starting to water already just talking about that. I'm going out in a couple days with Chensi. See if we can get lucky. Mmm, for some reason, adding the salt water to that rice gave it like a sweet flavor. Or maybe that's the butter. Damn, this is so good. The only thing missing from this is what? Yep, avocados. Had avocados with this? That would be the perfect meal. This is damn near close. If you're new to the channel, there's a bunch of videos on this channel similar to this. But for those of you who have been around for a while, what would you like to see? What kind of videos would you like to see? Would you like to do the same old, same old? Come out here, catch rockfish? Go catch striper, maybe a perch? Haven't caught a perch in a while. Maybe just go out for salmon. I don't know. What do you guys think? Go down to San Diego for yellowtail? If you have any ideas. Anything you think that I would like to do or that you would like to see. Otherwise, thanks for watching, y'all. This was a good meal. I'm going to continue fishing after this, so thanks for sticking around. Hope you learned a little something, at least, how to rig a swim bait. All right. Peace. Fish on, baby. And that is a cabazon. A little cabazon. Beautiful little colors, huh? See how he swallowed the hook? They say if you ever catch a fish and it swallows the hook and you don't want it to die, just cut the line. Eventually that hook will rust out and the fish will live. So I don't want to kill it by pulling his gills out and letting him bleed. So just cutting it. See you later, fish. Good luck next time.